Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Labor Day here. 2nd of September. Obviously, uh, Canada and the U.S. are not in today. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at what's going to happen on a lower liquidity, lower participation day. We do have Euro PMIs out. Spanish manufacturing, Italian manufacturing, French and German manufacturing PMI out this morning. This will move the euro. We also have a ton of uh, euros expiring at 110 the figure. So we're not expecting this to, to really run away on a holiday day with tons of expiries. Um, it would be hard to imagine any of these manufacturing numbers to come out strong. So let's say Euro is going to be sort of 60-10 today. Uh, and at 4 p.m. Swiss time, it should be right around the figure just because of all these expiries. Stocks come off a bit. Gap open. This could be Hong Kong. This could be a lot of things. Um, point is is we're back in the range here we did trade all the way down to 93 uh, and the further down we get the more likely we take a trip to the bottom of the range um, did a doji after breaking the top side and failing on Friday doji now gap open lower uh, doesn't look great but we're mid-range here still so you know we have a marginal bias to be short um, and we trade this from the short side. Today we'll be selling rallies up at 23 for a gap close. Um, I don't see any good news on the horizon. I see all kinds of bad news just floating around the world. So let's see how this thing uh, let's see how this thing plays out. But short side today for us. Uh, on a tradable short because we're mid range here and within this uh, you know within this 28 10 29 40 this 130 handle range here we are 29 10 so no great technical push here uh, but we'll trade this from the short side let's look at bonds this is the new contract. It's still yielding 150. Um, not really sure what's going to happen with this, except for the fact that there's been all kinds of media speculation about a turn. Dalio came on over the weekend. You know, the U.S. rates, real rates are negative. It's all over the press now for for now four days. I don't know what this means, except for there'll probably be some volatility coming out of this. Remember, this is a new contract. This did not make a new high. The yield on the tens uh, is exactly one, one point five percent. So we're still at that same yield. This is a better chart to look at. Could this have turned on this here? That we've seen this so many times. I'm not going to call a turn on this at all. Um, We'll just have to see. Uh, but there's going to be vol and bonds just based on the, the frenzy of media interest that's following this thing. Gold looks like it's turned lower, but I'm not buying this. Um, as in, I'm not buying this turn lower. I'm also not buying it right now, but we will fade gold uh, through this 1500 break if it does happen. We were very early on this trade. We missed the middle of it, and now we're we're not going to fade this. We're looking for places to get long gold again, but we would like a clean out somewhere between 1500 and 1450 to get long. We saw dollars are open up uh, a little bit higher this morning, up at 23, but now we're back at 18. This looks mildly mispriced. I'm not sure why dollars are isn't higher. You have to be careful because there will be risk below 08. Um, 
this doesn't make sense to us. Don't have a dog in this fight, but it just doesn't make sense. Uh, this should be higher with stocks where they are. Bonds haven't really moved. There's sort of a risk off tone in the air. I don't know why dollars are is not higher. Quickly to um, dollar yen. Turned up there at 60 pretty hard, 67 pretty hard. This gets interesting again if we can get back below 105.60. Otherwise, it's just range. Oh, yeah, dollar CAD. Here we are in dollar CAD. We've been talking about this level for for 10 days now. Uh, we traded up to 34. Is that true? Late on Friday. Yeah, look at that. 133.33. Uh, once this thing clears 40, we think there's going to be a lot of stops out here. Many, many, many banks and practitioners want to be short dollar CAD. Your stop has to be above 40, so there'll be money to be made up here through 40. The real high has been 46, so if you want to be conservative, there'll be stops above 50. Uh, so we believe there's going to be a bit of a flush between 40 and 60 could trade all the way up to uh, 134.28. Keep an eye on this. There'll be very, very little liquidity today in dollar CAD as uh, the hockey players in Canada are not coming in or the juniors will be covering the desk. So today might be the day they just ram through these stops. Um, keep an eye on this 133.40 level. Not much else out there. Like I said, we've got European PMIs today. We do have UK also manufacturing PMI. We're short crosses in the UK. We do expect 89.90 to break this week. But first we have to get through 90.20. Uh, but you also have to leave room for news bombs that will take this thing higher. Like, you know, what was that on Wednesday last week? Traded all the way up to 90, 92, I mean 9120. You got to be ready for these. Uh, you got to be able to sell these Jags higher. Um, the trend now we think is lower, but there will be news. We've got Bojo and, and the battle with the Lib Dems uh, on full swing. Obviously, Barnier like was being trying to act tough over the weekend. This didn't really have any effect here uh, today. But we're short cross. We think cable could, could do a lot of different things. Um, so for now, we're expressing our long sterling through Euro sterling and sterling Swiss. Sterling Swiss chart is this. This looks a little sexier if you want to add um, up here at 12080. Anyway, we've said enough holiday today for the Yanks, for the Canadians. European PMI is out today. We'll be watching that. Uh, that should be marginally negative, but we don't think tradable. The bad news, the bad manufacturing news is out. This is It would be hard for the market to be surprised on the downside. And let's watch this dollar CAD. 133.40. Is your is your jump off point, and we'll just trade ES left hand side. So we'll fade this uh, break this gap fill, and look for moves back down towards um, the lows of the day, which are twenty eight ninety three. All right, folks, uh, enjoy if you're out here trading. If not, uh, we'll see you tomorrow uh, for really the first fall, full fall session of the year. Good luck out there, peeps. Make some dough. Ciao.